this video will show how to import time series data sets that is 4d data sets or um, um, series of uh, 3d volumes and uh, view them in in the renderer let us first uh, import the data uh, this is the data that i have i have got 11 time steps of bone compression and i will first import that using import time series import time series we will have the raw files and this is the data that we will import so these are the 11 files so select all of them open and it will the dialog will pop up pop up showing the files that will be loaded now what will happen in the importer is that you will be able to manipulate the, uh, <coughs> the um, histogram or select sub volume or apply say smoothing operations or filtering operations on only the first volume and all these operations are then uh, replicated or applied to the subsequent volumes in the time series so all the operations on the first volume will be used as a template for all the others in the in the time series so uh, subsampling smoothing remapping uh, histogram remapping all these will be applied to the first volume and then copied to the others so this is my data it's 256 cubed volume unsigned byte so what we are now looking at is the first volume this is the histogram let me just turn that off so this is the histogram now what I would like to do is just view the middle part so I will select and drag these end markers here I can do that and so this is the region that I would like to view when I click say Y that's the region that I have selected this region here and in X it's this entire region okay so now that we have selected the region that we want to view let's go and save the data so let's save it in some different directory PVL and let's just give some file name now when processing volumetric uh, time series data sets the file name really can could be anything but what happens is these file names are taken tv2 tv3 and so on and then pvl.nc extension is applied to that so no matter what file name you give here the file name of the original file uh, is taken and then .pvl.nc is applied so even if we give test still the uh, the original file name will be taken <coughs> so if I go back and look at PVL you can see that these files are getting created here so these are the files that are created tb2 tb3 and so on so we have now processed the time series we have imported the time series and let's go and view that so let me kill that and uh, let me start Drishti uh, renderer so this is the Drishti render now we can drag and drop the entire time series like that here and drag and drop that into Drishti or we can also go via this load volume say load volume 1 and then we can go in and select that range so we we had our raw files here in this directory and the pvl files are saved in this directory so let's select all these pvl files and load them so we have loaded the time series what we are looking at here is only the first volume let's press f2 to go into the high res mode so we have pressed f2 
this is the high res mode let us just change the transfer function I'm using left mouse button and setting the transfer function here I'm just changing the transfer function so this is the first time step let me have a look at volume information so this is the first volume this is the second volume here and so on this is the 11th volume so, so sorry this is the 12th volume so 0 to 11 so these are the total volumes here let me just change the transfer function again a bit okay now what we would like to do is we would like to see the animation going so let me just remove the transfer function editor from here let me turn on the keyframe editor this is the keyframe editor here save the save the keyframe here say click another point change the volume number here to 11 so and then set keyframe so what we have here are two keyframes one here with volume number 0 and another one here with volume number 11 and now all the frames here in between will have the volume numbers interpolated so if you run the animation you will see the you will see different volumes you can see here the volume number is changing and you can also see here your data is also changing so that's how we can inter, uh, import uh, time series datasets and view time series datasets in Drishti.